this carb setup that is not so good. Sounds good at all. Idol is good. Hold it up for fuel. Alrighty, boys. Today, me and Spark here working on the old Enticer 300, the race sled. We're going to attempt to pull the carb off and just clean her out a little bit. She's just She was just running on choke when we got her. We're still contemplating getting a round slide for it. That means we'll have to change out the throttle cable as well, um, as the Yamahas have that butterfly with the dual cables for the oil injection. We should also delete the oil injection because there's no point in you know, weight reduction, get rid of that bottle. Um, but yeah, just pull the air box off. We're going to loosen up the uh, throttle cable and oil cable and get them out of the way. Take the choke cable out and then take the clamp off and hopefully the car will come right out. Pliable line here should come right off. We'll clean her out a little bit. But we're anxious to get on the ice. It's getting cold here, but still no snow. So at least if the lakes freeze, we could take this thing out and have a little fun. And uh, I know we got to put some slides on the on the skid yet. I'm gonna have them ordered soon. But yeah, today we're gonna try to get the carb off and clean her out. Alrighty, boys. So we went ahead and cleaned the carb. Um, there was a dirty old pilot jet that was in there. Uh, definitely was making it only run on choke. So we cleaned out every orifice on this thing. Cleaned out the jets. Um, took out the air screw, reset it to two turns. But yeah, we're going to throw this thing back in, and hopefully she will run much better now. So there was some kind of nasty stuff in the bottom of the main jet uh, drain, or whatever you want to call it, that 17 millimeter plug. A bunch of stuff was in there, so we got that all out of there too. But yeah, we're going to reinstall it, and then we'll turn it back on when we fire this thing up. Alrighty guys, so yesterday we were going to fire this thing up, we cleaned the carb and it was all flooded out pretty bad so I'm not sure if, the, it was a combination of the plugs being really shitty and it possibly could have a fuel pump diaphragm leaking, putting gas into the crankcase through the impulse. We're going to do a compression test on this motor just to be safe, just to make sure. The plug had a booger on the end of it, like on the electro, <sighs> so it might have got really hot at one time, we'll see if we can see that. But yeah, that doesn't look so hot. So we do have some, we got like five sets of brand new plugs we bought today. Got the compression tester in. I'm gonna hold her wide open and have Sparky give the throttle or the pull rope a few yanks. Okay. Or I'll yank it. Oh, there goes the beer. Give her a few more. It's about good. How's about what, seven pulls? Yeah. What do you got? About 100 and... Mm, I'd say... Be 125 between the two. Yeah, about one. That's good. Yeah. Buck 20 is good. <laughs> Alrighty boys, we're going to do the other side now. Yeah. 
So about 115. 115. These, these motors really don't have that much compression from stock, so that's probably about what it is supposed to be. I'm happy with the it's 120. It's not 50, that's all. So we're averaging like 115 to 120, which is good. So it's not a compression thing. We had some nasty plugs. We might have to replace the fuel pump. Located down here, it's a normal Makuni pump, so I can get those for like $10 on eBay. But yeah, we're going to throw a fresh set of plugs in. We'll see if we can get some. Alrighty, thing. boys. So we got it running. It's running pretty poorly. This carb setup is not so good. It sounds good at an idle as yet. Hold it up with fuel. You need that fuel pump to put extra gas in the tank case though. What does it just like? I think the, I think I think our fuel pump needs replacing. Yeah, definitely need some hard work.